Hi, my name is Renard, and this is Not Too Critical Reviews, the JPC News Show where I give brief reviews of new releases at the cinema, sometimes with a guest or two. In this video, I'm going to explain how my five-star rating system works. Uh, before we begin, there are a couple of things to note. First, my rating system comes in half-star intervals, so three stars, three and a half stars, four stars, etc. And second, try not to equate my rating system with the way schools in the United States grade stuff. Uh, as, you know, as you'll come to learn, just because I give a film three stars out of five, it doesn't mean it gets a D minus. But the more you watch our show, the more you'll get used to our system. Now, the ratings and what they signify. Five stars. Excellent film. It accomplishes exactly what it's set out to accomplish. Films have to earn this rating. And if they get this rating, which will be very deserved, they get a guaranteed top ten spot by the end of the year. Four and a half star films. It's basically the same as five stars, but going back on the love thing, I just don't love the film unconditionally, you know? But the film is still very good and definitely memorable, and they're useful for filling out the remainder of a top ten list. It's just easier to give films four and a half stars if I feel they're not completely perfect enough to get five stars. Moving on. Four stars. I really like the film, it's memorable, but here's where I'd start to hesitate to call the film a masterpiece. In a good film year, a large handful of films would get this rating, and some four-star films might be in, you know, in the top ten, but most of them will probably fall outside of it. Three and a half stars. I like the film, it's impressive, but the memorability factor can go either way. But only after you leave the theater. When you go to the theater, you find it worth it to spend your money, and you have a blast watching it in the theater. You may not remember much by the end of the week, but the experience of watching it at the theater, it was worth it. Three stars. Okay, if three and a half star films, their memorability factor can be debatable, it's almost certain that three star films, you probably won't remember that much of them by the end of the week, if at all. Probably rent worthy as well. As a critic, I don't regret watching these films in the theater, it's part of my job, but for the average viewer, regret is a strong possibility. Two and a half stars. One word. Indifference. It means I don't care enough to like this film or hate this film. And I doubt you will too if you have any taste. And just as a heads up, we're probably going to start describing films that are trashy, which I'm going to use the garbage bin as a metaphor. Films that get two and a half stars, they're like films that sit on the lid of a garbage can. They're not really garbage and people can still pick them up if they find it useful but it can go either way for, for most people. Two stars. I didn't like this film but it's more because it's wasted potential as opposed to being outright crap. One and a half stars. I can definitely rant about how inept this film was at trying to impress an audience. One star. I didn't like this film. Please don't make me watch it again. Please. Half star. If you value your life, please don't watch this film. Please don't dare suggest that I watch this film. Just please. And if that's the bottom of the barrel, the bottom of the trash can, zero stars. I don't even know if it's even in the trash can anymore. It's probably beneath it. I just hope that I don't have to give films zero stars. I really hope not. Anywho, besides the ratings themselves, in the regular review episodes, sometimes I will give a film an additional trait of being a high three stars or three and a half stars or a low three and a half stars. If I feel that a three and a half star film, it comes very close to being a four star film, but I feel giving it four stars outright is too much, then I'll say it gets a really high or just a high three and a half stars out of five. Little things sprinkled throughout the film. Uh, either bring the film down or cause the film to raise itself up a little bit. An unnecessary sex scene gets an automatic half star deduction for me. If you find this system a little bit too complicated, don't worry, just multiply my rating by two and you'll get a rating on a scale of ten. And that can be easier for most people. I just find the five star system a little bit more sophisticated. Anyway, that's my five star rating system. I hope you leave this video more informed about how we review things here on Not Too Critical Reviews. Please be sure to visit uh, our regular review episodes as well as our JPC News main broadcasts and other channel content. My name is Renard and this is Not Too Critical Reviews.
See you later.